Welcome back to English class, Advanced English, third unit vocabulary. In this uh, unit, uh, today's chapter is how to learn a new word. In this lesson, lesson, you are going to learn how to learn a new word and what are the methods to learn a new word. Uh, first, a pre-reading activity. Here are two signboards are there, two types of instructions. Uh, one is First one is read the following instructions given on a signboard. Use a body harness or restraining belt with lanyard attached to the boom or basket to prevent the workers from being ejected or pulled from the basket. Protect yourself from the major causes of fatalities like electrocutions, falls and tip overs. Second one, read the instructions for making bread at home. Take a cup of flour, pour a cup of water after adding a little margarine and a little sugar to the flour. Stir it while adding dry yeast. When the dough comes, uh, becomes tight and lumpy, knead the flour to make it smooth and stretchy. Shape the dough into cottage or plate or scroll as per your choice. Cover the shape with oiled cling film to stop it drying out and then put the tray in a warm place. Bake the loaf for 20 minutes. Here, have you understood the above instructions? Maybe you might not understood well 100% because of the vocabulary. Most of the words you are not known. What made the above instructions so difficult to understand? The major reason is vocabulary. Most of the vocabulary you are unknown or not able to understand. So here the very important essential point is vocabulary as well as grammar both are important. Though you know the grammar, if you don't know the vocabulary, you cannot understand the paragraph or you cannot understand the speech. So third one, can you follow instructions without knowing the correct meaning of all words? No, it's not possible. Okay, if you want to make a food item, you must know the art of making it and have the appropriate ingredients. Here what it mentioned, if you want to make a food item, you need two things. One is the procedure, other one is the material. Without uh, having uh, material, you cannot do the item. Or without knowing the procedure, you cannot do the item. Similarly, you must know the grammar and use suitable words to make a sentence. To make a sentence, we should know the grammar as well as suitable words. So here I would like to mention one thing is most of the students uh, uh, fail to speak English fluently uh, because of the fear of making mistakes. First of all, you have to uh, concentrate on words and phrases. Don't try to speak uh, complete sentences. The problem comes, the mistake comes when you try to speak complete sentence, full sentence. So in the beginning stage, don't worry about the complete sentence. So try to speak word, try to speak sent, uh, uh, phrases. Then after, finally, you try to speak complete sentence. You cannot say anything without using vocabulary. Vocabulary enhances your reading and listening comprehension and accelerates your learning. So, Vocabulary, because of the vocabulary, the reading speed and the listening speed enhances. The richer your vocabulary is, the more eloquently you will be able to communicate your ideas to people. The vocabulary you know can be divided into two groups. Passive vocabulary and active vocabulary. Passive vocabulary means the words you understand when you read or listen, but you cannot use them correctly. 
active vocabulary is the words you understand their meanings and use them appropriately in speaking and writing. In examination point of view, in one more question, the question comes like, what kind of, how many kinds of vocabulary are there? Two kinds. What is passive vocabulary? Passive vocabulary means you understand the word, but you face difficulty, you cannot use them correctly in reading and writing. That means writing and speaking. Active vocabulary, what is active vocabulary? Active vocabulary is a word. You understand their meanings and use them properly in speaking and writing. Right. Here is one activity. Read the following story. The young thief and his mother. This is your part, but I will read now. A young man had been caught in a daring act of theft and had been condemned, condemned to be executed for it. He expressed his desire to see his mother and to speak with her before he was led to execution. And of course, this was granted. When his mother came to him, he said, I want to whisper to you. And when she brought her ear near him, he nearly uh, bit it off. All the bystanders were horrified and asked him what he could mean by such a brutal and inhuman conduct. It is to punish her, he said. When I was young, I began with stealing little things and brought them home to mother. Instead of rebuking and punishing me, she laughed and told me that it will not be noticed. It is because of her that I am here today. He is right, woman, said the priest. Right, now the questions. Have you understood the story? Yes, somewhat you understood. Though you don't know some words meanings, but you are able to understand it. Okay, next. Note down the words for which you know the meanings, but you cannot use them in sentences. This is your part. Suppose you know the meaning condemned, you know the meaning executed, you, may, you know the meaning, uh, suppose granted, uh, suppose bystanders, like that. You know the meaning, but you cannot use them in written and spoken English. So you have to write like, here like this. Next, note down the words for which you don't know the meanings. Suppose you don't know the meaning. Suppose you, I said here, uh, daring, theft, condemned. Suppose you don't know the meaning of condemned. You know only caught, daring, act. Now, execution, executed. Uh, bystanders like that if you don't know them you have to write here in the second one you don't know the meanings okay right sometimes we understand the text even if we do not know the meanings of a few words while reading a text when we come across a difficult word we guess the meaning of it we learn several new words and phrases through context. But if we do not use them frequently, we may forget them. We have to note down such useful words and learn the various features of those words. So here what uh, the writer says, sometimes we understand the text, we understand the story, we understand the paragraph. Though we don't know some of the words meanings. Okay. So how to tackle it? While reading the text, when we come across a difficult word, try to guess the meaning. Next, verify the dictionary. Then after that, write down the words you don't know in a notebook. Okay. And after that, you have to refer the notebook frequently. Otherwise, you forget. Right, excellent information. So this is very important. You get five marks, three marks, and one more questions from this part.
in examination point of view what to learn from any word exams no in examinations question comes like this what are the features we have to learn for a new word what to learn from a new word like that so locate the word you would like to learn in the dictionary and note down the following features of it right first feature first feature is spelling remember the spelling and alternative spellings of the chosen word if it has any you can learn how it is spelled in american english also some words have silent letters make a note of those silent letters here spelling means generally we follow most of the times written english british english sometimes we follow american english because both are major countries major uh, deciding uh, countries in the world in exam in job oriented and uh, study oriented okay right here disk disk disc disk disc disc is british english disk disk is american english c o l o u r color is british english c o l o r color is american english uk means united kingdom us means united states right next pronunciation learn the phonetic spelling of a word know where the primary stress and secondary stress can be given suppose sinusure c uk sinusure us sinusure next syllabification know the word how the word is divided into syllables we, okay we cannot spell the word we cannot pronounce the words continuously we sometimes we stress one area in the beginning sometimes we stress the beginning we sometimes we stress middle sometimes we stress at the end okay see here syllables b e a u t i f u l beautiful beautiful syllables three syllables are there beautiful next word class learn the information about the word family word family means parts of speech castle here in pronunciation one more thing is silent letters sometimes we write in spelling but we cannot pronounce them k o w no k silent like that next word class c a s t l e here casual silent letter is t casual next hover verb formidable adjective next inflections inflection is the changed form of your word takes when it is used in a particular grammatical way changed form in fact inflections is changed form so example sing verb past form and past participles are sang sung next ox singular oxen plural like that next other forms of the word that means word other forms means sometimes we frame we create uh, using one word to one one means one parts of speech to other parts of speech by adding spellings suppose take the word beauty okay if you want to make it word beautify adjective beautiful adverb beautifully noun beautification like that next meanings generally in english one word may have more than one one meaning that means maybe 100 or 1000 maybe there learn the meanings of the given word in english sometimes it may have more than one meaning you can learn its meanings in your mother tongue if necessary if it is necessary you can learn the meaning also in mother tongue telugu or urdu or hindi like that suppose take the word function so first meaning special activity or purpose of a person or thing 
Suppose, what is the purpose of a bike? Bike purpose is riding to go from one place to other place fast. Like that. That is the function of the bike. Next, public ceremony or event. Public ceremony, that means uh, federal party function, presses function, like that, or marriages, or uh, birthday parties, like that. Next one more is maths related. Variable quantity, function means variable quantity. Dependent in value on another, like that. Next, usage. How to use in a sentence form, like that. Learn how it is used in a phrase or a sentence. Example, prevalent, meaning common or seen everywhere, like uh, Corona. I'm shocked at the prevalence of bribery among these officials. Bribery means lunch. Next, derivatives. A derivative is a word formed by adding an ending called suffix to a head word in one more questions also you see this kind of uh, words derivatives derivative means a word formed by adding and ending that means suffix to head word some of the headings are able n-e-s-s m-e-n-t take the one example enjoy enjoyment happy happiness like that Next, phrasal verbs. What is phrasal verb in one more question? When a verb is combined with an adverb or a preposition, it gives a new meaning. Learn the phrasal verbs to enrich your vocabulary. Suppose, go is verb, through is preposition. So, combine go means well, Adamu, through and dwara. Go through is new word, completely new word. Go through means read. Okay, next, idiomatic expressions. Some words can be used in idioms. Native speakers use these uh, idiomatic expressions naturally and consciously. Learn them to use carefully. Idiomatic expressions and what is separate meaning? Suppose, chao kabut chalaga. We should not take the meaning literally, exactly. Chao kabur chalaga ante, but jarigina nastani, jarigina yete, ah, ibandini, but nimmalango chesi, chepadan mat. Yemra, chao kabur chalaga yetu, inta prasanda yetu, vanti. And the Bankerman at 20, Customer at 20, Buy Pet at 20 Vision and the Simple Gachina is a person known like that. But we should not take the literal meaning. I am a Chang Shankada Jidava and Shankada the MBBS in Malaguda Kuni expression in front of there is crocodile festival. In front of there is crocodile festival and the Manamundi Mosala Pandigante crocodile story festival is there. Nikundra and I go say Gamuda. Boshet law, Nikutariga Nikini Badal and Tani Badal Piano Illal Kagani Pandagadu. House festing is not a Antarial. House festing is house festing is not feasting. Then Illal Kagani Pandaga can summon Atlantisco. Okay, right. Once in a blue moon. Happens rarely. easy Next kind of words. You can learn whether the given words word is archaic or no longer used, or colloquial, or used in everyday language, or formal, or suitable for official uh, important occasion, or taboo, or indecent, offensive, vulgar language. Or a specialist word belongs to a specialist areas such as law, science, technology, medicine, like that. Okay. So archaic means no longer used. We are not using in our day-to-day -day language, present generation. Colloquial means we are using at present. Formal means official. Okay, taboo means vulgar, offensive. 
specialist means separate one kind of area one area words example bedlam archaic asylum bedlam means uh, suppose giving shelter to uh, other countries uh, people or uh, giving shelter to the mentally disturbed people next bamboozel colloquial mystify trick uh, cheat like that apologize formal say sorry next litigant special word for person engaged in a lawsuit next compound words a compound word is formed by adding another word to the head word suppose national is the head word national park national museum national uh, agenda like that next black <coughs> black board night night dress like that next etymology you know the history of the word the root word origin you can learn how it is originated and changed throughout history learn the root word from its its meaning suppose uh, take phobia phobia means bhayam so whenever the word comes you can simply uh, guess the meaning suppose uh, gerund and no uh, hydro hydro means water hydrophobia like that next maharaja from hindi maha means great king sanskrit maha means great like that next synonyms and antonyms learn the words having similar meanings and opposite meanings suppose barbaric synonyms of barbaric are brutal cruel inhuman uncivilized boorish antonym for a barbaric is gentle civilized cultured kind nice sophisticated refined like that next collocations note down what other words are often used with it combination words collocations with uh, the word c are c plain c green c front c shore c water c weed c port c food like that like compound words like okay like me next so one mark three marks five marks questions comes all these kind of questions come from this year part okay right next activity 2 use a dictionary and note down all the above features of the given words here elucidate distinguish perceive munificent extravagant are there you have to open the dictionary and identify the word and write um, collocations synonyms meanings etymology compound word kind words idiomatic expressions phrasal verbs derivatives usage meanings other forms of the word inflections word class syllabification pronunciation spelling all these features you have to write for these words okay in order to communicate your ideas and thoughts properly to others you have to pronounce the words properly pronunciation is very important if you do not pronounce the word properly others do not understand it learn phonetic symbols ante manaki ippudu suppose manaki bithri sathe ni okaru untadu entha mundu vcs lo undedi ippudu tv9 lo ostunna athani koni words ni డిఫరెంట్ గా ప్రొనౌన్స్ చేస్తాడు తెలుగు వర్డ్ కావచ్చు ఇంగ్లీష్ వర్డ్స్ అయినా కావచ్చు డిఫరెంట్ గా ప్రొనౌన్స్ చేస్తాడు అప్పుడు సమ్ టైమ్స్ వీ కెన్ నాట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ అవి మనకి ఏందో అర్థం కాదు చాలా కష్టం అవుతుంది అంటే అతను అంటే ఫన్ ఓరియంటెడ్ గా ఫన్ క్రియేట్ చేయడం కోసం అలా వాడుతున్నాడు కానీ మీరు కూడా బిత్ సత్య లాగా మాట్లాడారు అనుకోండి ఎదుటి వానికి అర్థం కాదు సో డోంట్ ట్రై టు యూజ్ దట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్స్ ఈ ఓన్ ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్ ఓన్ గా క్రియేట్ చేయడం ఇట్లాంటి చేయకండి ఓకే లెర్న్ ఫోటిక్ సింబల్స్ అండ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ ద కరెక్ట్ ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద వర్డ్స్ లెర్న్ టు లిసన్ టు అదర్స్ వెన్ యూ కమ్ అక్రాస్ ఎ డిఫికల్ట్ వర్డ్ రీడ్ ఇట్ అలౌడ్ సెవరల్ టైమ్స్ అండ్ చెక్ యువర్ ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్ సో ఎప్పుడైనా మీకు కొత్త వర్డ్ కనుక కనిపిస్తే దాన్ని చదవండి 
గట్టిగా భయంక బిగ్గరగా సెవరల్ టైమ్స్ అండ్ చెక్ యువర్ ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్ ఆ ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్ సూట్ అవుతుందా ఆ ఇచ్చిన ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్ కి మేడ్ పలికే ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్ సూట్ అవుతుందా చెక్ చేసుకో సో హీర్ ఇస్ వన్ యాక్టివిటీ ప్రొనౌన్స్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ వర్డ్స్ లైక్ R E N D E Z V O S. What is the pronunciation? Randivu. That's a meeting. Uh, scheduled meeting. Next, etic. What do you call it? E T I Q U E T T. Etiquette. Next, pune. Charisma. S U I T E. Sweet. G N A W. No. A I S L E A L D E B U T Debut P A Z Z A Pizza Pizza Latin word D E B R I S Debris like that. Now use a dictionary and check whether you have pronounced them correctly. Next activity. Use the following suffixes. and make as many derivatives as possible using the words given below derivatives ante endo chusam what is derivative ante adding the suffixes to a head word head word ki suffix ni add cheyadam ante suffix ante right side add cheyadam okay m e n t a b l e a n c e l y c a l c a l y c y i o n i v e i s t i s h i a l l y i t y i a n a r y like that next a d d i c t addict create the words derivatives addictable addiction any words difference differentiation different differently next biology biological biologically biologist is is there na no? uh, biologist like that idiom consistent logic parliament scientific next identify use the following words in your own sentences own sentence you have to frame sentence splendid tolerate fortunate gaze ideal translate voyage compassion suppose splendid means beautiful the castle is very splendid like that next jargon very important one more question jargon is a type of language that is used in a particular context jargon is a type of language that is used in a particular context special context and may not be well understood outside the context if you want to if you want to uh, try to understand the meaning individual single word you cannot understand it learn the words related to your uh, field to understand the context well practice learning words related to a particular item are place to improve your vocabulary suppose the court is adjourned adjourned ante adi vallaki legally unda vallaki matre telusu overruled the court is over, overruled overruled means ante permitted sustained ila separate particular context lo matre vaddu avutadi these are called jargon next i to the write as many words as possible using the keyword cinema in 60 seconds 60 seconds lo cinema ane word ki sambandhi related words anni ra suppose cinema cinema theater cinema poster cinema teaser cinema songs cinema actor cinema hero cinema heroine like that villain anni ra cheppa count the number of words you have written and write the number in the space provided below here after writing total count them and write the number total number 
you can improve your vocabulary by learning the words related to a particular place or a thing. You can improve your vocabulary by learning the words related to a particular place or a thing. Prepare the words least related to them. Suppose uh, you know you like cricket, then prepare the list, vocabulary list related to cricket. Right? As many words as possible related to the following keywords cricket. I don't know cricket much, so you can write like cricket, kitchen, vegetables, car, mobile phone, ship, like that. Okay, next. Here is one five marks and three marks questions. Come from this part. Tips. Ah, or give some tips or give some suggestions to improve vocabulary. How to improve vocabulary? This is one question. Prepare the vocabulary list you have learned to learn. Prepare sticky notes which serve as reminders. Vocabulary can't be learned in isolation. If you just note down difficult words and learn their meanings, you may not remember them for a long time. When you learn a word, use it in writing or conversation. Use new words in conversations. The best way to improve your vocabulary is through reading or listening. Learn the roots of the words. Learn the meanings of the affixes and use them. You can guess the meanings of the word of a word if you know the meaning of affixes. Suppose poly, poly is many. Polytechnic, polygamy, polyclinic, like that. Anti means before. Anti meridian, anti clock, anti hero, like that. Anti agonist. Don't try to remember words alone. Learn through context. Visualize new words. Associate the words with the mental images. Learn a new word a day. Use online dictionaries. Carry a pocket dictionary. Keep a dictionary and thesaurus handy. Make flashcards. Each flashcard will have one English word written on the front and the words the translation or definition on the back. Use them while traveling. Learn other words of the same class or group. Play games like Scrabble, Boggle, etc. to enrich your vocabulary. Take vocabulary quizzes, crossword puzzles. Read newspapers, journals in English. Don't repeat the words while speaking or writing. Learn the latest words and expressions. Like that. Next assignment. Read today's newspaper. English newspaper and note down the difficult words. Learn those words and use them in sentences. That is for today, for this lesson. I hope you understood well. Please repeat it once again, listen it once again, complete the assignments and activities, write in notebook, fair notebook, and prepare well for the examination. Still, if you have any doubts, you can ask me in live class. All the best. Bye. Welcome back to English class, Advanced English, third unit vocabulary. In this uh, unit, uh, today's chapter is how to learn a new word. In this lesson, lesson, you are going to learn how to learn a new word and what are the methods to learn a new word. Uh, first, a pre reading activity. Here are two signboards are there, two types of instructions. Uh, one is, first one is read the following instructions given on a signboard. Use a body harness or restraining belt with lanyard attached to the boom or basket to prevent the workers from being ejected or pulled from the basket. Protect yourself from the major causes of fatalities like electrocutions, falls, and tip overs. Second one, read the instructions for making bread at home. Take a cup of flour, pour a cup of water after adding a little margarine and a little sugar to the flour. Stir it while adding dried yeast. When the dog comes uh, becomes tight and lumpy knead the floor to make it smooth and stretchy shape the dog into cottage or 
plate or a scroll as per your choice. Cover the shape with oiled cling film to stop it drying out and then put the tray in a warm place. Bake the loaf for 20 minutes. Here, have you understood the above instructions? Maybe you might not understood well 100% because of the vocabulary. Most of the words you are not known. What made the above instructions so difficult to understand? The major reason is vocabulary. Most of the vocabulary you are unknown or not able to understand. So here the very important essential point is vocabulary as well as grammar both are important. Though you know the grammar, if you don't know the vocabulary, you cannot understand the paragraph or you cannot understand the speech. So third one, can you follow instructions without knowing the correct meaning of all words? No, it's not possible. Okay, if you want to make a food item, you must know the art of making it and have the appropriate ingredients. Here what it mentioned, if you want to make a food item, you need two things. One is the procedure, other one is the material. Without uh, having uh, material, you cannot do the item. Or without knowing the procedure, you cannot do the item. Similarly, you must know the grammar and use suitable words to make a sentence. To make a sentence, we should know the grammar as well as suitable words. So here I would like to mention one thing is, most of the students uh, uh, fail to speak English fluently uh, because of the fear of making mistakes. First of all, you have to uh, concentrate on words and phrases. Don't try to speak uh, complete sentences. The problem comes, the mistake comes when you try to speak complete sentence, full sentence. So in the beginning stage, don't worry about the complete sentence. So try to speak word, try to speak sent uh, uh, phrases. Then after, finally, you try to speak complete sentence. You cannot say anything without using vocabulary. Vocabulary enhances your reading and listening comprehension and accelerates your learning. So, vocabulary because of the vocabulary the reading speed and the listening speed enhances the richer your vocabulary is the more eloquently you will be able to communicate your ideas to people the vocabulary you know can be divided into two groups passive vocabulary and active vocabulary Passive vocabulary means the words you understand when you read or listen, but you cannot use them correctly. Active vocabulary is the words you understand their meanings and use them appropriately in speaking and writing. In examination point of view, in one more question, the question comes like what kind of, how many kinds of vocabulary are there? Two kinds. What is passive vocabulary? Passive vocabulary means you understand the word, but you face difficulty. You cannot uh, use them uh, correctly in uh, reading and writing. Uh, that means uh, writing and speaking. Active vocabulary, what is your active vocabulary? Active vocabulary is the word. You understand their meanings and use them properly in speaking and writing. Right. Here is one activity. Read the following story. The young thief and his mother. This is your part, but I will read now. A young man had been caught in a daring act of theft and had been condemned, condemned to be executed for it. He expressed his desire to see his mother and to speak with her before he was led to execution. And of course, this was granted. When his mother came to him, he said, I want to whisper to you. And when she brought her ear near him, he nearly 
uh, bit it off. All the bystanders were horrified and asked him what he could mean by such a brutal and inhuman conduct. It is to punish her, he said. When I was young, I began with stealing little things and brought them home to mother. Instead of rebuking and punishing me, she laughed and told me that it will not be noticed. It is because of her that I am here today. He is right, woman, said the priest. Right, now the questions. Have you understood the story? Yes, somewhat you understood. Though you don't know some words meanings, but you are able to understand it. Okay, next. Note down the words for which you know the meanings, but you cannot use them in sentences. This is your part. Suppose you know the meaning condemned, you know the meaning executed, you, may, you know the meaning, uh, suppose granted, uh, suppose bystanders, like that. You know the meaning, but you cannot use them in written and spoken English. So you have to write like, here like this. Next, note down the words for which you don't know the meanings. Suppose you don't know the meaning. Suppose you, I said here, uh, daring, theft, condemned. Suppose you don't know the meaning of condemned. You know only caught, daring, act. Now, execution, executed, uh, bystanders, like that. If you don't know them, you have to write here in the second one. You don't know the meanings. Okay, right. Sometimes we understand the text even if we do not know the meanings of a few words. While reading a text, when we come across a difficult word, we guess the meaning of it. We learn several new words and phrases through context. But if we do not use them frequently, we may forget them. We have to note down such useful words and learn the various features of those words. So here what uh, the writer says, sometimes we understand the text, we understand the story, we understand the paragraph, though we don't know some of the words meanings. Okay. So how to tackle it while reading the text when we come across a difficult word? Try to guess the meaning. Next, verify the dictionary. Then after that, write down the words you don't know in a notebook. Okay. And after that, you have to refer the notebook frequently. Otherwise, you forget. Right. Excellent information. So this is very important. You get five marks, three marks, and one more questions from this part in examination point of view. What to learn from any word? Exams, no, in examinations, question comes like this. What are the features we have to learn for a new word? What to learn from a new word? Like that. So locate the word you would like to learn in the dictionary and note down the following features of it. Right, first feature, first feature is spelling. Remember the spelling and alternative spellings of the chosen word. If it has any, you can learn how it is spelled in American English also. Some words have silent letters. Make a note of those silent letters. Here, spelling means generally we follow most of the times Britain English, British English. Sometimes we follow American English because both are major countries, major uh, deciding uh, countries in the world in exam, in job oriented and uh, study oriented. Okay, right here, DISC disc, DISC disc, DISC disc is British English, DISC disc is American English, CO yellow you are color is British English, CO yellow are color is American English. 
UK means United Kingdom, US means United States. Right. Next pronunciation. Learn the phonetic spelling of a word. Know where the primary stress and secondary stress can be given. Suppose sinusure. C UK. Sinusure. Yes, sinusure. Next syllabification. Know the word. How the word is divided into syllables. We, okay. We cannot spell the word, we cannot pronounce the words continuously. We sometimes we stress one area in the beginning. Sometimes we stress the beginning, we sometimes we stress middle, sometimes we stress at the end. Okay, see here syllables B E A U T I F U L beautiful, beautiful syllables. Three syllables are there, beautiful. Next word class. Learn the information about the word family. Word family means parts of speech. Castle. Here in pronunciation, one more thing is silent letters. Sometimes we write in spelling, but we cannot pronounce them. K O W. No. K silent. Like that. Next word class. C A S. T L E here, Kazil. Silent letter is T. Kazil. Next, hover, verb, formidable adjective. Next, inflections. Inflection is the changed form of a word takes when it is used in a particular grammatical way. Changed form. In fact, inflections is changed form. So example, sing, verb. Past form and past participles are sang, sung. Next, ox, singular, oxen, plural, like that. Next, other forms of the word. That means word. Other forms means sometimes we frame, we create uh, using one word to, one, one means one parts of speech to other parts of speech. By adding spellings. Suppose take the word beauty. Okay. If you want to make it where beautify adjective beautiful adverb beautifully noun beautification like that. Next meanings. Generally in English one word may have more than one prana, one meaning that means maybe hundred or thousand maybe there learn the meanings of the given word in english sometimes it may have more than one meaning you can learn its meanings in your mother tongue if necessary if it is necessary you can learn the meaning also in mother tongue telugu or urdu or hindi like that suppose take the word function so first meaning Special activity or purpose of a person or thing. Suppose, what is the purpose of a bike? Bike purpose is riding. To go from one place to other place fast. Like that. That is the function of the bike. Next, public ceremony or event. Public ceremony. That means uh, federal part function, process function. Like that. Or marriages or uh, birthday parties. Like that. Next one more is maths related. Variable quantity. Function means variable quantity. Dependent in value on another. Like that. Next usage. How to use in a sentence form. Like this. Learn how it is used in a phrase or a sentence. Example. Prevalent. Meaning common or seen everywhere. Like uh, Corona. I am shocked at the prevalence of bribery among these officials. Bribery means lonesome. Next, derivatives. A derivative is a word formed by adding an ending called suffix to a head word. In one more question also, you see this kind of uh, words. Derivatives. Derivative means a word formed by adding and ending. That means suffix.
to head words. Some of the headings are able, N-E-S-S, M-E-N-T. Take the one example. Enjoy, enjoyment, happy, happiness, like that. Next, phrasal verbs. What is phrasal verb in one more question? When a verb is combined with an adverb or a preposition, it gives a new meaning. Learn the phrasal verbs to enrich your vocabulary. Suppose, go is verb, through is preposition. So, combine go means well, Adamu, through and dwara. Go through is new word, completely new word. Go through means read. Okay, next, idiomatic expressions. Some words can be used in idioms. Native speakers use these uh, idiomatic expressions naturally and consciously. Learn them to use carefully. Idiomatic expressions and what is separate meaning of them. Suppose, chao kabut chalaga. Atar chao kabut chalaga jipad. Atar chao kabut ne anta islo vetti vish kochi. Esi room lo vetti vish kochi pada. We should not take the meaning literally, exactly. Chao kabut chalaga ante. But Zarigina Nastani Zarina Yete Ibandini Padu Nimalango Chesi Chepadamat. Evra Sauko Salay to the Prasanna Yet twenty, and the Bankaraman at twenty, Customer at twenty, by petty at twenty vision and simple Gachina in a place no one like that. But we should not take the literal meaning. I am an exchange Shankata Jidava. And Shankara the MBBS in Malaguda only expression in front of there is crocodile festival. In front of there is crocodile festival and the Manamundi Mosala Pandigante crocodile story festival is there. Kal Nikundra Nana goes a Yamuda Boshet Law Nikutariga Nikini Badal and Tani Badal Bian Illal Kagani Pandagadu House festing is not a Antarial. House feasting is house feasting is not feasting enough. Then illo lekar ani thi panega kine samandam atla tisko gorbo. Okay, right. Once in a blue moon, ante happens rarely. Ye pro gan zarge the ante easy gal. Next kind of words. You can learn whether the given words word is archaic or no longer used or colloquial or used in everyday language. Are formal, are suitable for official uh, important occasion, are taboo, are indecent, offensive, vulgar language, are a specialist word, belongs to a specialist areas such as law, science, technology, medicine, like that. Okay. So, archaic means no longer used. We are not using in our day to day language, present generation. Colloquial means we are using at present. Formal means official. Okay, taboo means vulgar, offensive. Specialist means separate, one kind of area, one area of words. Example, bedlam, archive, asylum. Bedlam means, uh, suppose giving shelter to uh, other countries' people, or uh, giving shelter to the mentally disturbed people. Next, bamboozle, colloquial, mystify, trick, uh, cheat, like that. Apologize, formal, say sorry. Next, litigant, special word for person engaged in a lawsuit. Next, compound words. A compound word is formed by adding another word to the head word. Suppose national is the head word, national park. National Museum, National uh, Agenda, like that. Next, black, <coughs> blackboard, night, night dress, like that. Next, etymology, you know the history of the word, the root word, origin. You can learn how it is originated and changed throughout history. Learn. The root word from its, its meaning. Suppose uh, take uh, phobia. Phobia means bhayam. 
So whenever the word comes, you can simply uh, guess the meaning. Suppose the gerund, I don't know, um, hydro. Hydro means water. Hydrophobia, like that. Next, Maharaja. From Hindi, Maha means great king. Sanskrit, Maha means great. Like that. Next, synonyms and antonyms. Learn the words having similar meanings and opposite meanings. Suppose barbaric. Synonyms of barbaric are brutal, cruel, inhuman, uncivilized, boorish. Antonym for a barbaric is gentle, civilized, cultured, kind, nice, sophisticated, refined, like that. Next, collocations. Note down what other words are often used with it. Combination words. Collocations with uh, the word C are C plain, C green, C front, C shore, C water, C weed, C port, C food, like that. Like compound words like okay. Next. So one mark, three marks, five marks questions comes. All these kind of questions come from this year part. Okay, right? Next activity two. Use a dictionary and note down all the above features of the given words. Here, elucidate, distinguish, perceive, munificent, extravagant are there. You have to open the dictionary and identify the word and write them. Collocations, synonyms, meanings, etymology, compound word, kind words, idiomatic expressions, phrasal verbs, derivatives, usage, meanings, other forms of the word, inflections, word class, syllabification, pronunciation, spelling, all these features you have to write for these words. Okay. In order to communicate your ideas and thoughts properly to others, you have to pronounce the words properly. Pronunciation is very important. If you do not pronounce the word properly, others do not understand it. Learn phonetic symbols. Suppose you have a three sets. You have a TV9. You have a TV9. You have a word different. You have a word English word. You have a different word. Sometimes we cannot understand. You have a word for the word. So don't try to use that kind of pronunciations. You own pronunciation, own create chedam, plant chicken. Okay. Learn phonetic symbols and practice the correct pronunciation of the words. Learn to listen to others. When you come across a difficult word, read it aloud several times and check your pronunciation. So, if you have a word, you can confess it. Then, it's a word. Get it bigger. Several times and check your pronunciation. Our pronunciation will suit it. I have a pronunciation key. Made a palke pronunciation suit out in the city. So, here is that one activity. Pronounce the following words like. R E N D E Z V O S. What is the pronunciation? Rendezvous. That's a meeting. Uh, scheduled meeting. Next, etic. What do you call it? E T I Q U E T T. Etiquette. Next, pune. Charisma. S U I T. Sweet. G N A W. No. A I S L E A L D E B U T Debut P A Z Z A Pizza Pizza Latin word D E B R I S Debris like that. Now use a dictionary and check whether you have pronounced them correctly. Next activity use the following suffixes. And make as many derivatives as possible using the words given below. Derivatives and the choose them. What is derivative? Adding the suffixes to a head word. 
హెడ్ వర్డ్ కి సఫిక్స్ ని యాడ్ చేయడం అంటే సఫిక్స్ అంటే రైట్ సైడ్ యాడ్ చేయడం ఓకే ఎం ఈ ఎన్ టి ఏబిఎల్ఈ ఏఎన్ సిఇ ఎల్ వై సిఎల్ సిఎల్ఎల్ వై సివై ఐఓఎన్ ఐవిఇ ఐఎస్టి ఐఎస్హెచ్ ఐఏఎల్ఎల్ వై ఐటి వై ఐఏఎన్ ఏఆర్ వై లైక్ దట్ నెక్స్ట్ ఏడిడి ఐసిటి ఎడిక్ట్ క్రియేట్ ద వర్డ్స్ డెరివేటివ్స్ ఎడిక్టబుల్ addiction any words difference differentiation different differently next biology biological biologically biologist is is there na no? uh, biologist like that idiom consistent logic parliament scientific next activity 5 use the following words in your own sentences own sentence you have to frame sentence splendid tolerate fortunate gaze ideal translate voyage compassion suppose splendid means beautiful the castle is very splendid like that next jargon very important one more question jargon is a type of language that is used in a particular context jargon is a type of language that is used in a particular context special context and may not be well understood outside the context if you want to if you want to uh, try to understand the meaning individual single word you cannot understand it learn the words related to your uh, field to understand the context well practice learning words related to a particular item or place to improve your vocabulary suppose the court is adjourned adjourned ante adi vallaku legally unda vallaku matha telus overruled the court is over, overruled overruled means ante permitted sustained ila separate particular context lo matrame vartha avutadi these are called jargon next activity write as many words as possible using the keyword cinema in 60 seconds 60 సెకండ్స్ లో సినిమా అనే వర్డ్ కి సంబంధించి రిలేటెడ్ వర్డ్స్ అన్ని రాయాలి సపోజ్ సినిమా సినిమా థియేటర్ సినిమా పోస్టర్ సినిమా టీజర్ సినిమా సాంగ్స్ సినిమా యాక్టర్ సినిమా హీరో సినిమా హీరోయిన్ లైక్ దట్ వీలైనన్ని రాయాలి చెప్పాలి కౌంట్ ద నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ వర్డ్స్ యూ హావ్ రిటర్న్ అండ్ రైట్ ద నెంబర్ ఇన్ ద స్పేస్ ప్రొవైడెడ్ బిలో హియర్ after writing total count them and write the number total number you can improve your vocabulary by learning the words related to a particular place or a thing you can improve your vocabulary by learning the words related to a particular place or a thing prepare the words list related to them suppose uh, you know you like cricket then prepare the list vocabulary list related to cricket write as many words as possible related to the following keywords cricket i don't know cricket much so you can write like cricket kitchen vegetables car mobile phone ship like that okay next here is one five marks and three marks questions come from this part tips ah give some tips or give some suggestions to improve vocabulary how to improve vocabulary this is one question prepare the vocabulary list you have learned to learn prepare sticky notes which serve as reminders vocabulary can't be learned in isolation if you just note down difficult words and learn their meanings you may not remember them for a long time when you learn a word use it in writing or conversation use new words in conversations the best way to improve your vocabulary is through reading or listening 
learn the roots of the words learn the meanings of the affixes and use them you can guess the meanings of the of your word if you know the meaning of affixes suppose poly poly is many polytechnic polygamy polyclinic like that anti means before anti meridian anti clock anti hero like that anti against don't try to remember words alone learn through context visualize new words associate the words with the mental images learn a new word a day use online dictionaries carry a pocket dictionary keep a dictionary and thesaurus handy make flash cards each flash card will have one english word written on the front and the words the translation or definition on the back use them while traveling learn other words of the same class or group play games like scrabble boggle etc to enrich your vocabulary take vocabulary quizzes crossword puzzles read newspapers journals in english don't repeat the words while speaking or writing learn the latest words and expressions like that next assignment read today's newspaper english newspaper and note down the difficult words learn those words and use them in sentences that is for today for this lesson i hope you understood well please repeat it once again listen it once again complete the assignments and activities write in notebook fair notebook and prepare well for the examination still if you have any doubts you can ask me in live class all the best bye